Hey family, this is Dee here. Wishing you guys a happy, happy, happy fourth day of the week. I hope and pray that this, the week thus far is going well for you all and that you guys are manifesting things that you guys have your heart's desire set on. So I just wanted to share something that was kind of stirring internally. Early this morning, I got up around a little bit before sunset and just had a message stirring. So I definitely wanted to share this with you guys. So what was coming to me was color, it matters. I'm going to say that again. Color, it matters. And before anybody gets their knickers all up in the rumple, I didn't say race. I didn't say uh, ethnicity. I didn't say even nationality. I said color, it matters. And I literally mean colors that we can see in the spectrum with our human eye legit legit colors okay so y'all let me just share with you really quickly i've been doing a little bit of research research on this because i know for a fact that it's a significant thing because most of the major world religions have um have use color in different manners sorry y'all i'm in a workspace um i was crafting or trying to craft earlier so um i just wanted to share really quickly colors are quality of light any given beam of light has specific values of frequency wavelength and energy associated with it so for any of y'all that have watched any of my previous videos I always close out by saying, vibe up, y'all, vibe up, get out in the sun, get your frequency up. There's a reason why I keep saying those foundational things. So y'all go with me, okay? Color, it matters. So if y'all think about the Rastafarians, right? So Rastafarians, if you think of them, you're usually going to see them in their red, gold, and green, right? If you think about the holy people, the Jews of the book, you're going to think about blue and white, which has, you know, very strong symbolism with the color blue and the color white. Some of the other world religions, whether it's Hindus or whatever, I'm not going to go there, but the different major religions have their colors that they associate with their path. They also have ritual, whether it's lighting the candle, whether it's, um, using water, washing in water, or whether it's pouring of the libation, there's ritual associated generally with the colors that they use also. So I'm going to go back to colors, right? So as I'm doing this research, come to find out there are actually hurts the, the level of what, of what color registers as, right? Okay. So for example, the color red, which we all know is associated with passion and fire and sometimes energy. It has a 4.62 Hertz, right? Orange 5.0 Hertz, yellow 6.16 Hertz, green 5.54 Hertz. These are different. These Hertz are actually measurements. Violet, 7.51 hertz the primary colors being red green and blue secondaries yellow orange violet and white we always think about the beautiful beautiful rainbows that we see the seven band or seven spectrumed rainbow red orange yellow green indigo blue and violet did i miss one Roy, red, orange, yellow, G, green, biv, blue, indigo, violet, six, the six band, and white, seven band, spectrum, rainbow. Sorry, y'all, I had a brain to freeze. Sorry about that. So the beautiful seven band rainbow that we think of. Those colors mean different things. They freak, They have a frequency at different levels. So what I'm suggesting as what was coming to me is as chosen ones as spiritual people we have to be really really careful of what colors that we are wearing because we want our frequency to be right okay so for me personally 
as you guys can see, I told you I was crafting this morning. I have a deeper blue tank on the crafting coat that I have on, which is kind of an old house coat because I'll be painting and plastering in a little bit is blues, greens, fuchsias, and different shades of lighter purple, right? I'm generally in these colors, blues and purples. I try to stay in the primaries, the reds, the blues, the um, not so much green because I don't like green, I don't, not so much yellow, but blue, indigo, purple, violet. Those are the colors that I generally try to stay in. If I am trying to block out any negative energy, I'm generally going to have white on. It's not just a fashion sense. It's not, I'm not, sis DJ doesn't, I'm going to throw on white because, oh, I just feel fashionable. I want to throw white on. No, I'm throwing on the white because, okay, I'm going out in an environment that I'm not aware of or that I'm not comfortable with or there's going to be a whole bunch of people with a whole bunch of... God only knows what kind of spirits attached. So I'm going to put my white on to try to help protect this temple. Likewise, if I want to take in and absorb some energy, I'm going to have my black on. Or I'm comfortable in that space because I've tried those spirits. I've tested them. And I know that they're safe, comfortable, and okay for me. So it's okay for me to put my black on. I'm going to go in a familiar, a familiar environment. So it's okay to wear my black. Okay. So I'm just throwing this out there. I know that it's going to seem foreign for a whole lot of people for you to hear. Colors have frequency. They carry a wavelength. There's not only symbolism and meaning associated with color. Let me drop this nugget. Think about the marketing that comes along with the psychology of color. Every major big brand that you can think of Probably shortly after you think of that brand's name, you can think of the color of their logo. If I throw out a famous fast food uh, restaurant um, that has arches, what color are those arches? And you probably can see in your mind's eye the color of those. If I throw out a famous coffee company and their logo, you probably can see the color of green of the logo. And that goes with the famous soft drink companies who use the color red because red is fiery, it's passionate, it's sometimes considered also impulsive. They want you to buy quick. And red is associated with that as well. It makes red makes the heart rate go up. It raises your blood pressure a little bit. So these companies have invested a lot of money, y'all. And selecting not only their brand, but the colors associated with their brand, with their logo, because they want to elicit an emotion from you. So whether it's you're in a restaurant and you see these oranges or muted amber colors, you wonder why. Okay, so it helps elevate the appetite for human beings. There are colors that are easier on the eyes for us to see. So you guys stop and think about this as spiritual people. And this message again is probably geared more for the chosen ones. As spiritual people here in Terra and you guys are on assignment, be very, very careful of the colors that you are putting on your temple, the Holy Scriptures speak a lot about in the temple, the priests, the Levites are supposed to wear these kind of colors, the blues, the scarlets, the purples. They are to have their tassels or pomegranates on with the blue, the scarlet, the purple with bells of gold. They're supposed to have their braids of silver or gold. They mention, uh, they're very, the scriptures are very specific about the colors that are to be used. Also, the stones that are supposed to be used. When I'm talking about color, you guys, the gemstones actually have energy to them as well because they also reflect light. Any gemologist will tell you, okay, a well-cut stone is going to reflect light. And what did I start out with? Color is also part, it has an element of light to it. So as spiritual beings, beloveds, please hear me. 
be careful of what you put on your temple. Choose the colors that you're wearing wisely. Choose wisely. If you're going in an unfamiliar space, be wise, put your whites on. If you're okay, put your black on. If you're unsure and you're trying to elicit or you need something to manifest, then do your research. Go into, okay, I need um, favor to manifest. What color do I need to go? Do I need to go in yellow? Do I need to go in gold? Do I need to go in orange? Oh, okay, well, I need influence to follow me. Do I need to go in my blues? What Do your research. But just no longer is the season in the earth where we can just blindly throw on anything on these temples and expect the fullest result, okay? So I just wanted to throw that out there. There was a lot more that I kind of really wanted to share, but I don't want this video to be so really, really long, even though it's kind of long now, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Continue blessings to you all. I never want to close out any video without saying thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you that stopped to spend your time with me. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I wish all of you guys a best remainder of the day and throughout the week. If I get any more messages, I definitely will share. I ask you guys politely and kindly. If you guys are resonating with what I'm saying, comment back to me. Let me know. If something doesn't make sense, drop me a comment so that I can respond to you guys, okay? Um, if you guys want me to do a live and kind of go a little bit longer or anything, if you guys have comments for me, positive, indifferent, whatever, uh, um, and you need me to flush something out, drop that for me so that I can get back to you guys, okay? All right, this Sisti, you guys, as I always close by saying, vibe up, y'all. Vibe up. Sisti and I'm out.